Hello everyone, my name is Thomas Jimenez and I'm a developer advocate at Wix. Today we're going to go over the Wix Members API. Wix Members Area is an app that's available on the Wix app market. Let's take a look at it. By default, the Wix Members Area allows you to allow your visitors to form and manage personal accounts. This is something that's really important nowadays when you're building websites because a lot of the time we have a lot of data that's associated to our personal accounts. This can be anything from our about me section, a forum profile, or even keeping track of the orders that you've made on an e-commerce website. So by default, this app right here allows you to allow your visitors to create member accounts. What we're gonna be learning about today is the Wix members API within Velo, which allows you to customize that onboarding experience. If you want a custom login or a custom registration process, that's exactly what the Wix members API is for. Let's take a look at the Velo reference now. So now that we're here, you can see that the Wix members API is separated into two different sections. So there's Wix members and Wix members backend. This is on purpose and let's explain why. So Wix members is all of the functions that can be done on the front end and Wix members backend is all of the functions that can be done on the back end. The reason that it's separated into these two different sections is because we want to make sure that we're not giving the front end functionality that it shouldn't have. For example, in the back end, if you go under authentication, you can see that there's a lot of functions relating to approving accounts if you choose to use pending accounts when a user registers. There's other things such as changing the login email, generating session tokens, which should all be done within the back end. Velo by default allows you to create secure JavaScript backend modules, and this is the place where a lot of these functions will be used. On the other hand, if you want to deal with any functionality that runs on the front end, you should head over to the Wix Members API. On the Wix Members API, you can see that there's two main subcategories. There's authentication and current member. Authentication has everything to do with logging in, logging out, um, registering, more importantly, which is uh, some of the functionality that we're going to look at today uh, and actually implement. Um, to create our own custom onboarding experience for our website. On, as a side note, Wix members is actually a new API uh, that was meant to replace the Wix users API. If there's ever any new releases or any new updates, you should always go to the Velo reference and click on the top where it says release notes. And if you scroll down, you can see when new functions are added and dates associated with it. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to take a look at how to add the Wix members area to your website. And once we do that, we're going to actually try to implement registration, signing up and password recovery. So right now I'm on a blank Wix template. And what we're going to do is we're going to add the Wix members area app. So on the top, if we click here, you can see that dev mode is already enabled. And if I wanted to do anything with the Wix members area app in Velo, I would need to make sure that that's enabled. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click add. I'm going to click search and you can see already that Wix members is here. So I'm actually going to take that out and type again Wix members. And if I click Wix members area, you can see that I have the option to add this app to my site. Now I'm going to click add to site. And you can see right here that now that I've added the app to my site on the top right up here, there's something called the login bar. So the login bar is the main way that you can access all of the settings related to the Wix members area app. So if I click on set up login bar, you can see that there's different things we can change. For example, we can change the text that's displayed here. We can check, change whether or not a uh, image is shown for the user profile that's currently logged in. And more importantly, we can click on this button here that says member signup settings, where we can access uh, the settings that we're gonna use today in order to access more code using Velo. So 
If you look down here to where it says want to use a customized signup form, you can see that here you can enable a custom signup. To make things more interesting, we're actually going to implement the signup, the login, and the password recovery on an existing Wix template to show a real use case for using the Wix members API. So let's head over to the T-Shop demo. T-Shop is an existing template on Wix that's available for you to use that shows an example T-Shop store. So you can see down here that it has different functionality such as buying a shirt, you can click on products and you'll see that you can buy the shirts, you can buy different quantities of it, add it to cart. And if we go back, you can see that there's other functionality such as uh, getting promo codes. And these are just some of the different features that are available on Wix by default. The most important feature for us in terms of the Wix members API is the ability for your users to create an account to sign in and to recover their account. So let's take a look at that. On this template, we have the default behavior. So when I click on login, you can see that a modal pops up and it says sign up. It gives you a few ways to sign up. So you can use Facebook, you can use Google, or you can sign up using your email. This modal right here is the default one. If we wanna add custom functionality to the registration process, we can actually do that using the Wix members API. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this template, build on top of it in order to create a custom login, a custom registration, and a custom password recovery screen. So let's head over to the template now on the Wix editor. You can see that now I'm on the Wix editor and you can see the template. So the first thing I'm going to do to make sure that we can use Velo is click on here where it says dev mode and turn dev mode on. Now I have access to all of the JavaScript behind this template. So before we started um, this video, I actually created some modals that we're going to be using for our custom sign in. So let's take a look at some of them. So website sign up is a light box that I created. Um, and a light box is just a, a modal that can go on top of a Wix website. Uh, and you can see here that I have a create an account page that is different than the default one. This is really useful for when you're creating a store and you want to show like some new products that are being released. You want to possibly show some promotions that are currently going on. Uh, this custom registration process can really help the user experience for the people that use your website. The same thing is true for the reset your password page and also for the login page. So the first page that we're going to go ahead and implement is the website sign up page. So we're going to click on that and down here we can actually see the code. So before we get started coding, let's just take a look at some of the elements that are on here so that we know what to modify when we're actually writing our JavaScript. So here's an email input password input, and a sign up button. Before we code this, let's just think about like what we're going to do. So basically, we got to check if the user has typed in a valid email, if the user has typed in a valid password. And then once they click this button here, so an event handler, uh, the, the website basically then sends the registration over to the backend. And then hopefully, once the user has registered, they're automatically logged in, and then they're now on their account. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna head over to the JavaScript, and we're gonna start writing some code for this. So we know that we need an event handler for the sign up button, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on that element. I'm gonna click on this event handler over here and click add event. And you can see that the Wix editor allows me to add a event handler very easily using this panel right here on the right. So now what I want to do is access some of the inputs that we had up there to make sure that they're valid. So we're going to create some variables. We're going to say let email equal to $W, which is the selector tag that will allow us to select Wix elements, email input. And we're going to do the same thing for the password. So let 
password equal dollar w hashtag password input. Uh, and now that we have um, some selectors for these two things, what we want to do is check that whatever the user has typed in is valid. Luckily for us, both of these inputs have validations built in because they're a type that's already defined. So this one's type email. And this one right here is type password. If I needed like some sort of custom validation, I could always go down here to where it says pattern validation and add my own regular expression to check for that input. So back to the code now. Now that I've selected both of them, what I want to check is, is the email valid? So I'll say if email dot valid, we do something. So let's say if the email is actually not valid. So if it's not valid, we'll want to update the front end so the user can see a red box around that input. And that'll help them visualize the fact that they've typed an invalid email. So I'll say email dot update validity indication. So since let's say the user types in something that's not valid, it will then update the box to be red. So the user then knows to actually add in a valid email. And then I'll do the same thing for the password as well. So I'll say if password is not valid, then password dot update validity indication. Lastly, we're going to check if both the email and password are valid. If both of these are true, then we know that we want to use these two inputs to create a new user account since we're currently on the signup modal. So we're going to say if email dot valid. So if that's true and password dot valid is true. Then we're going to use the Wix members API in order to register the user according to the information that they typed into the text input fields. So before we do that, let's actually import that Wix members function. So we're going to say import authentication from Wix members. We're going to go back to the if statement. And first, what we're going to do is we're going to get the two inputs um, based on like what the user typed. So I'm going to create two variables, one called email input. And we're going to store the value of whatever they type. So we'll say email dot value. And we'll do the same thing for the password. So we'll say let password input equal to password dot value. Now what we have to do is actually call the register function. So let's do that now. Authentication dot register. And you can see right away that it auto tells you some of the parameters for this function. So the first parameter is the email. The second parameter is the password. And then we have some optional options. So for this example, we're just going to do um, the email and password and see how that works. So we're going to say email input for the first parameter, then password input. And then we're going to make a callback function to print out a success message if we receive that from this function. So we're going to say dot then take the result. And we're going to console dot log the result. And in the case that there is an error, we're going to also catch that error. So we're going to say dot catch error. And then we're going to catch that error. So we're going to say or print out that error. And then finally, if 
the user actually registers, what we want to do is log in the user. So we're going to call another function now. So we're going to say authentication dot login based on whatever the user typed in. So we're going to say email input and e uh, password input. And after we log in the user, we're going to close the actual modal. So to do that, we're going to have to import Wix window. So we're going to say import Wix window from Wix window. And then we're going to say after they logged in, a callback function is going to happen. We're going to take the result in, print that out. And we're also then going to close the modal. So we're going to say Wix window dot lightbox dot close. Now what we're going to do is we're going to save this code. And we're going to publish it just to see it live. So let's take a look at what this code looks like on the live website. So on the live website, when we hit on login, you can see that the default modal still opens. So let's actually head back to the Wix editor and change it so we can have a custom login. So to do that, we're going to go to the GUI. We're going to go to the home page. Then we're going to click on the login bar like we mentioned earlier. When I click on setup login bar, you can see that there's an option called member signup settings. If I click on this, you can see that down here there's something that says enable custom signup. I'm going to click on this, I'm going to enable it, and then I'm going to click on the light box for the one that I want to open as soon as I click on login. So in this case, I want the sign up to show up first. So I'm going to click website sign up and then press done, save, done, save the page, and then publish it. Now, if I go back on the page and I refresh it, and I click on login, you can see that the modal opens. Now let's test some of the validation that we coded earlier. So let's say I type in an email, and right after that, I click sign up. You can see that in this case, both of the boxes turn red, and that's because there's no valid input for both of them. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna make an account with a test email that I created in order to show you what a sign up process would look like using the code that we wrote. So I'm going to type in this email right here. And I'm going to type in a password. And then I'm going to hit sign up. You can see that now that I click sign up, it seems like we've created an account. And if I click up here, you can see that I have a few options. So I have my orders, my addresses, my wallet, my subscriptions, my account. These were all some of the features that were available on the template prior to me adding a custom login. But now that I created a custom login, I can enhance the user experience as they sign up for our page. In this video, we went over how to create a custom registration form using the Wix members API. In the next part of this series, we're going to go over how to create a custom login and how to create a custom password reset form using the Wix members API. As always, if you guys have any comments or feedback, please leave it in the comment section below. Until next time.